this is my little cantaloupe and I believe it's all ready it was green a couple of days ago and has now turned that cantaloupe color it is nowhere near as big as the other two cantaloupes I grew but hey this will do you know this is still a success because again I never this is my first time growing cantaloupe successfully I see little ants up there which is probably letting me know that um, maybe they're smelling that cantaloupe smell so I'm gonna pick it <gasps> look at that just like they said it pops right off yeah this this one's kind of small but um palm of my hand you <sighs> can't have this ants it's not bad but the other two were like two times bigger than this so this year growing cantaloupe was a huge success for me huge success Have a yellow squash down there getting big. Not quite ready to be picked yet. This is my eggplant right here. And of all the eggplants that I have, this one is kind of like I'm going to call it the monster eggplant because this one is really taking off like all of these eggplants and uh you're really doing their thing flowers are I haven't done anything to this plant no pruning nothing I did harvest some eggplants on Sunday, took them to church, gave them away. This the month. Of, this is the month of August, and uh, yes, I had to back away from the eggplant that I heard the bug. I mean, bee. All kind of bees, beetle, wasp. Flying insects are out here, and uh, yeah, it's hard for me to come out here now. Like saying, like I have to really build up my courage because of the bugs and the beetles, those big beetles that are now showing up. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to build up my bug bravery be out here my uh, zucchini there is covered with powdery mildew so I don't know I don't know about that all right I'm over here this is the kale that I had covered with cheesecloth um, and beetles are still around I have another eggplant now this one's over here closer to the house by the carport I haven't been doing anything I have been doing really much anything to the to the um, eggplant near it they've they've taken off There's Swiss chard calendula and that's cabbage right there now this is some Swiss chard that was really doing good. I just cut off all the old leaves. Um, I call myself trying to plant some carrot seeds right there. See what happens. Also right here, this is a tomato plant that hey, kind of was started up on one of the old tomato plants that were over there and I took it and put it and planted it in some soil 
and then in a cup and then I just transplanted it here and it's, it's, it's trying to do something. And this, this is tat soy and I don't even know what this is. It's some seeds, I think it's a flower, I don't know. But I said plant it, see what happens. But seeing that right there, I don't know if the harlequin beetle has found out this is over here. Because it's in the same garden bed as the as the kale. But like I was saying, this is the month of August. And uh, I'm holding on to my cantaloupe. This is the month of August. And it's all kind of bugs. Flying bugs. Big flying bugs out here. That are visiting my garden. And that's why I'm back over here. Because I just seen one huge. Like it's more than an inch long flying bug. I have an eggplant planted right over there. Right beside the container of peanuts is an eggplant. I don't know if you can make that out. But um. Yeah. This is going to be the time I have to drag my husband out here while I try to do something in the garden. Otherwise, I'm going to be screaming. And just want to show you, this was a zucchini that was growing. I cut it off because it looked like something came out here and was gnawing on it. And I was like, what animal wants to eat zucchini? So I was quite surprised. I got another one that's growing right, that's growing right in there. So hopefully that one makes it. Powdery mildew seems to be um, having a heyday with the zucchini. So here is the sweet potatoes. Now they are starting to look a little discolored. Um, I don't, part of me is thinking that they're starting to look like that just because of the time of the year and how long they've been out here. Or could it be because I did get down there and mess around, but they don't look stressed. They just look like they're going through that discoloration process because of the time of year and, you know, maybe the duration of the being out here. So, but other than that, they, they look good. They still look healthy. It's not a whole lot of wilted looking um, sweet potato leaves looking good so these are gonna stay I'm gonna let them stay down a little longer let them stay down a little longer and there's zucchini this is a zucchini I had planted later that now I've probably only I think I've harvested less than five zucchinis off of it. And I believe it's, it's probably been five or less than five. And here's another eggplant. Not doing anything to it. And it's like it's starting to take off. Like, big time. It's producing. It has flowers and new buds starting up. So, I don't know. I'm just watching and learning. And I guess birds came over here and must have nitpicked on it. I guess that's what it looks like. I'm assuming. Or I don't know. It could have gotten scratched. So, the eggplants are doing really well. The ones that I planted in the ground. So, taking this into the house to see if the girls like it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.